The materials needed are popsicle sticks, bottle caps, rubber bands, scissors, a stick, a straw, a ruler, a hot glue gun, and anything that can punch a hole through the bottle caps. First step is to measure 2 cm in the stick. We will now stick two popsicle sticks like an upside down V. The length between them is 6 cm. We will now put the stick from earlier to the middle of the popsicle sticks using our hot glue gun. While waiting for the popsicles to dry, we will cut two 1 cm and a 5 cm from the straw. We will now stick the straws to the popsicle, the 1 cm ones at the sides and the 5 cm one at the middle top. After that, we will cut a 6 and 9 cm from the stick which will help the wheels move later on. We will now start making holes in the middle of the bottle cups using a screwdriver. Note, you can use any tool for this as long as it can make a hole in the bottle cups. I'll put the sticks from earlier to the hole of the bottle cups then insert it inside the straws. After that, we will apply hot glue gun between the stick and bottle cup to make sure it doesn't fall off. We will now cut 2 cm from the stick then put it into the middle of the car later on.
still now put the battery shown earlier on the sides. Battery shown earlier on the sides. We will now put the battery shown earlier on the sides. For it to move, just connect the rubber band to the stick at the back and twist it and release it. Describe the factors that affect the motion of an object based on the laws of motion. Differentiate potential to kinetic energy. In this project, we can see that the first law of motion is applied. When you place the toy car on the floor, the toy will remain not moving. But once you took your hand on it, the toy starts to move. You can also see friction on this project. The floor opposes the motion of the toy car which causes it to slow down and stop. When you roll the wheel back, it wind up and stretch the rubber band. Once you're done rolling, elastic potential energy is stored. The more you roll back the wheel, the more rubber band is stretched and more energy it stores. Once you release the car, the rubber band unwinds and the elastic potential energy is then converted to kinetic energy, which is the energy of body motion. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video.